At the bottom of the task window, you'll find tabs with information about the company that the arrow is associated with. Company info has general information about the company and maybe some notes about that particular customer or company. The company arrows is the activity history. This includes everything scheduled out in the future and everything completed in the past. There can be notes here. There can be completed tasks. There can be appointment history and even possibly emails. This history includes all of the arrows for the entire team. Depending on your security level, you may be able to click down into a particular arrow to see more information. Company contacts are all of the people that you might need to contact to do the work for the client. It can be internal contacts like owner, accounting manager, warehouse manager, board member. It can also be external contacts, possibly other vendors that you might need to work with on behalf of your mutual client. Company team members is a list of all of the team members that are assigned to this particular company. Note that you do not need to be listed as a company team member in order to be assigned work for that client. The vault is a place where you can find usernames and passwords that you might need to access in order to do work for the client. There might also be other notes here like tax ID numbers, fiscal year end, industry of the client, maybe what is the capitalization threshold or what kind of tax entity they might be. You might also find links to other client specific resources in another cloud based system like maybe a folder in a document management system or a link to a specific Slack channel. Finally, the time tab is the history of all of the different time entries that have been created for this particular arrow.